In order for the vMix desktop capture to work, all your computers must be connected in one network or in one router. Either you are using LAN cable or a Wi-Fi. But what the important is, it should be connected in one router or network. Okay? And also, all your computers must have vMix. Okay? Actually, it is possible also to use only one desktop or one laptop to make a setup of Zoom Gallery. But you need to have at least more than one monitor. At least maybe three monitors to do it. Okay? Or else, you can have one laptop and a very big screen for you to capture all the necessary things, the gallery and the speakers. And you need to open multiple Zoom in one laptop. Okay? But here, I'm going to show you how to make a Zoom gallery by utilizing my desktops, my two desktops. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up a simple Zoom gallery using your vMix. But first, I'm going to discuss the connections of my workstation, okay? This is my desktop one, and this is the extended monitor. And also, this is my second desktop, and this is also the extended monitor, okay? I'm going to show you... If I'm going to drag it here, see, it is just an extended monitor, see? And also, same as this, I have an extended monitor for my desktop one. Okay? So, now, since I already show you, okay, here, in my desktop one, I already have a zoom with attendees, same as here. But here, in my second desktop, I enable the dual screen monitor, okay? If you don't know how to enable it, just click video settings and then go to general and click this one, use dual monitors, okay? Next is, we're going to capture the display of our second desktop into our first desktop, okay? We're going to capture the display one and the display of our extended monitor into our main desktop or the desktop one, okay? But how to do it? First, go to your search icon and look for vMix Desktop Capture. Click this one. Okay, now, this is now the vMix Desktop Capture. This is very important. Without this, we cannot capture the display of our second desktop into our main desktop, okay? Be sure to open this one. When you install the vMix, it is automatically installed also as a default in your vMix. Okay, now, since we already open it, we're just going to minimize it. Then, let's make it full screen, and also with this one. Now here, let's go to our main desktop to capture all the display of our second desktop. But first, we're going to drag this zoom gallery in our extended monitor and make it maximize okay now to capture the display of the second desktop go to add input and then click ndi desktop capture then go to ndi as you can see here all the applications that is on the desktop one and the second desktop you can see now here, all the applications that were running in the desktop 1 and the desktop 2. Okay? See, you can see the display 1 and the display 2. Let's double click the display 1. Okay, see? If you are going to move here, it also moves in our vMix. So, we already captured the display 1 of our second desktop. Okay? Now, Again, we're going to capture the extended monitor of our second desktop, okay? Again, let's go back to add input and click NDI desktop capture. And again, NDI here and double click this one. Okay? So, we already capture the extended monitor of our second desktop. See, as you can see it, if I'm going to move it, it also moves in our vmix see so let's let us just make it maximize okay now we already captured the 
display one of our second desktop and the extended display of our second desktop okay so we're just going to make it widescreen okay and close it and also with this one just make it widescreen oh it's not good okay just normal screen okay next we're going to capture the zoom gallery in our desktop one okay again go to add input next in the desktop capture then click local desktop capture while local desktop capture so that we can make the zoom gallery background transparent and i will show you later how to do it but whenever you are going to capture the computer remotely you need to go to ndi okay now here we're just going to rename it as gallery okay and close since we already capture all the necessary things now we're going to set up a zoom gallery okay so we're going to make this one as our background and later this one the video okay but first we do first in here in the picture okay to set up a zoom gallery just go to settings and then go to click the multi view here these are all the possible inputs you can do in this window okay let's click this one and go to the display one and let us assume that this dog and this cute monkey is our speakers so i'm going to pin here in our first screen and the dog will be in our second screen assuming that they are our speakers the monkey and the dog okay now okay let's go back to our main computer okay go to the position and click this one for you to crop the image and then go to here x to crop the x axis and also the x1 just crop it just to fit the face of the monkey okay oh. okay so this is it or just a little bit more okay and then just make it a little bit smaller now you click again the multi view to add again another speaker okay the dog so go click again the position and click the cropping and you crop it just to fit the face of this dog our second speaker okay x y axis okay just make it at least same as the monkey okay and then go back again to multi view and click again for the the gallery again to crop this one click the position and click the cropping this one you tick the cropping and crop it here crop it here okay by the way for us to remove this black all over the gallery just go to the gallery and click the settings and click the color key okay click the dropper and then you click the black area of this gallery okay so it will become transparent and it's much more presentable okay just close it and go back here and go to back to multi view and go back to the position of the gallery and then let's crop it okay so there it is okay just move this the the zoom you can move x axis and you can move also y axis see it's up to you how you arrange your zoom gallery to make it nicer and presentable okay okay there it is now you have the zoom gallery okay just pretend or just assume that these are the two speakers now 
let's use this one as our background this video okay actually you can go back again with the same process going to the multi view and going to here at the videos at the image at the gallery but to make it faster you can right click here since this one is already finished we can use this one just right click here to have virtual input create virtual input okay so you already have it just a copy of your zoom gallery that you have just created okay now click this one and then see first just remember the name of this video is bg okay and you should know where is the location of this bg okay and then click this setting icon and then go to general and click change okay you're going to change the image into the bg click browse okay just go to the location where you save that background video for me i save it in the download so just click this one and click open or double click and okay okay see just click play see just simple as that you have already the background with the video okay and also you can arrange this small window here by using the tabs okay this gray tabs means it will display all the window that you input here in your vmix uh, but we have the red the green etc etc and go let's go back to our gray if you are going to drag it here let's say I, the dog i'm going to, to drag it in the graphics okay that means this dog already in the tab graphics okay if you click the graphics you have already the dog let's go back again to our gray assuming this one i put video out that means this is the videos that i'm going to feed in the zoom so i'm going to put the this one the output and this one okay and all the other materials i'm going to put it in the other location okay let's say all the ndi will be here in the tab ndi okay if you click this one so you can see only this click this one ah, it's blank okay here so by these tabs you can organize all the inputs for easy control in your production okay you can also change this speaker for example i'm going to change it here pin to second screen so by this you can change all the speakers okay and see as you can see here there is a redundant or a video loop in the camera see actually this is your display so go to your gallery and right click hide self view okay so it's now more clean by this tutorial i already shown you how to set up a basic zoom gallery and with your imaginative mind i guess you can do it better you can do it more at least i show you already the concept on how to do the basic zoom gallery okay if you learned something please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much